Usually this is what I do with the bolt which holds the cable. So I turn this in order to remove it easily. And then don't do that. <laughs> don't eliminate that bolt completely but in case if you do don't miss it and reinstall it back i did because there is still an end cap here so we will need to remove the end cap and potentially i am going to use the same cable unless it comes out non-usable and the shocks one has some bend here so i'm already going to replace it because it's not so smooth I kind of thought that they have Sparks cables, but apparently I no longer have them. So I will just install the new cable shock as well. Important thing to mention when installing the cable for the shock, install it from the back end of the lever. So now I can work with the cable for the shock. So at the barrel adjuster, make sure that you turn it almost full stop to the end. So it will be like this. This one is for the rear shock. Move it as much to the end as possible so you will have a lot of area to tighten the cable. Don't cut the cable too early, so it's better not to do so. Put the cable through the hole under a pinch bolt. Remember this procedure is being done with fully open position because there is no tension yet at the front so what you're going to do here is to make sure that you leave a bit slack in the cable so that way it won't be over tightened make sure there is no huge loop here and tighten the cable what this essentially is going to do is to make sure that the cable just sticks in place and the barrel just we will be able to adjust the tension so we will see whether it will need a bit more tightening once everything is set up there but this is just initial beginning if you cut it too early then you might have to add yet another cable now it's time to install the wheel back in order to be able to put the bike on the ground and make adjustments to those cables and now the rear so it doesn't lock still we add tension not yet not yet all right so i guess if this wasn't cut in i will have to repeat the process made previously because there is not enough tension and we almost run out on the barrel adjuster so when making those tiny adjustments for the shock loosen out the barrel adjuster once again because there was uh, not enough tension release the bolt hold cable in place and pull it ever so slightly one important thing to mention about the rear shock is that once you tighten the cable the new title should be straight ahead at top so that way you will know that it's not too over tightened that's it we are done with this apply the end caps cut the cables and we'll be off to go now i can enable the lockout when applying the end cap you can enable the lockout it will turn it for your favor and all you have to do is just to push this down lockout doesn't work so basically twin lock just broken down have you heard something like that if you didn't now you will